What's up guys, this is Frenzy, welcome back to Viewer Castles. Today we're going to start off with Judo, uh, castle level 21. We did, we have, we are starting the uh, list from the top again today, so hopefully everybody's castles will be changed up and, uh, you know, edited for patch 17. But we may run, run into some that aren't. I just have to start at the top of the list now. Because it's been quite a while since I've gotten to these names. Alright, so you can kind of see this, obviously, these sort of traps don't work anymore that easily. I mean, it's it, you have to play on, like, visual... Um, like, visual kind of, I don't know, with walls kind of in the way, like you were trying to do there, but it still didn't quite work out. Let's rotate this around. Alright. Well, that's a neat little guy standing right here. I don't know, I guess he's he's connected to that. That's interesting. I like the little ways that you're trying to hide things around corners and stuff. Um, maybe if somebody didn't notice that or didn't rotate the proper way, they might not have saw that guy standing there. And then you had the bone puppeteer hiding behind this. It's pretty neat. Same as that archer. Both of these archers are kind of hiding behind walls. That's not something you used to see because, you know, uh, now when, when stuff isn't aggroed, it doesn't show the silhouette. So it's technically invisible behind a wall until it's aggroed. Unless you can see over the wall, obviously. Like, if the wall disappears, then you can see it. It's a, I guess it's like a step towards Fog of War. Let's hope that they get, you know, it fully imp implemented. Alright, so I see the Hungerbot coming up. I'll bait his hook. Uh, Alright. So far the only thing that I'm I'm really thinking might be a little bit wrong in this like layout is it looks very much so like a uh, patch 16 defense. Like the mobs that you're using aren't really good for sustained damage, they're good for bursting down. So if those things don't hit, you've noticed I haven't taken hardly any damage throughout this castle. And they're not all that tanky, so even with the, you know, with the um, lower timer times, I guess, um, it doesn't help you all that much that stuff isn't tanky. Like, I like the Mega Mutton and I liked the Zeke back there. The Mega Mutton, I wish there was probably a little bit better of a cha uh, trap somewhere in this general area that would just, like, put pressure on me or something. I don't know, maybe the Spike Trap. I mean, it works, but I did, I did heal up off of that, so... This is an interesting... I don't, I don't know exactly how your castle goes, it looks like this way. Alright, and then... Not this way. Alright, and then it looks like the boss room. So it looks like this hasn't been fully edited for patch 17. Which is kind of unfortunate. Maybe you're in the middle of editing it right now. Because it looks like there might be some stuff that's just not in here. I mean, I, I realize there needs to be a couple more groups in this castle. So, I don't know. I'll probably throw this up there. If you want me to redo your castle, you know, resubmit it when you when you can. Um, I'll just throw it up there for the first couple of groups, the information that I gave you. So we'll jump into number two in just a second. Alright, for number two we have Shark Ice, castle level 19. Looks like the gold-plated castle. So, I mean, these do have themes. I'm just hoping that they're actually updated. This is already, like, a better start. Um, just for sustained damage overall. These physiques are really good at that. I have to make sure I get a couple healing strikes off of this. It's actually probably a good idea for knights to leave those two skeletons following them and kill them off with healing strikes throughout the castle. That's actually probably a very smart thing to do. Alright, so this shouldn't aggro me from like here, but I should be able to pull it. Then I can get out of the way. The only annoying part thing here the only annoying thing here is I'm gonna have to like break line of sight so that these guys actually come out of the jelly wall. I could have pulled them all to me, but I like this way better. Do a little bit of splash damage with the kick. 
I didn't hit with that healing strike, that's unfortunate. Alright. So I'm going straight for all the damage because, I mean, there's nothing else dangerous about this group. Once I kill off these things, I can just kind of go through it. And it'll almost heal me up because I can use Healing Strike on this. Personally, from the defender's side of this, because that's what I'm supposed to be doing, um, I don't really like having healers with archers. I don't think it really combos well. The, the uh, archers can't really sustained heals. They're they're not strong enough. They're not tanky enough units. So there's no reason for me to ever kill off that healer. And then a Defendatron and Puppeteer isn't going to be dangerous for anybody and it'll probably also just like help uh, Knight because he can just use Healing Strike all day and heal up to almost full as you can see here. Although I think, I don't remember what, what I think your castle was level 19 wasn't it? Yeah you do have level 20s in here so the fact that I haven't used a potion is really good for me. Uh, Pete Poundmore is good though, I mean you can see how much he's dealing damage to me. That's one of those units that are really good after this patch. Wasn't so good last patch because you could just potion it off, but now that there's a uh, like finite amount of potions, that matters quite a bit. So I mean I don't really like I've said it a couple times, I don't like these, uh, I don't like smelly warriors in general, and I really don't like the specialization, because you notice it really doesn't do anything to knights, like, the smelly warrior itself isn't doing anything, especially for the specialization. The cyclops, on the other hand, is good, and he could even be uh, leveled up as well. It might boost you to level 20, but he does have a level up available. But I mean, this guy, 72 damage is nothing. They attack relatively slow. I mean, it's not bad, but I don't know. I personally don't like them for four points. One headshot is, you know, a hundred and some damage, I think, so. When you think about that and the possibility of hitting multiple headshots, I think archers are just better for points. Point for point. I like the Zeke, though. This is good sustained. You notice I'm going to probably have to use another potion soon if I don't heal up somehow, right there. So these are the type of moves you need to be doing, is things that are good at just, like, sustained damage, not really, um, not really using stair masters or anything like that, hunger bots, all those sort of, like, cute traps aren't really a thing anymore, in my opinion. Pete Poundmore is good, uh, Mega Muttons are pretty good. Like, if this whole castle was Pete Palmores, I don't think I'd be able to do it. Which is interesting, that might be a new cheese. I shouldn't have said that. Because <laughs> now a bunch of people probably will do it. Like, archers shouldn't have a problem with that, but I don't think knights would fare too well. At least not at this level, maybe a little bit later on, because it seems like Pete Palmores fall off around that level. Oh, that's gonna hurt if that hits me. Okay. That's good. This is an interesting group. Now you have a tank group that should help me heal. Although I grabbed the wrong unit. But I'm not going to make it in time. Um, I mean, that could be partly because I'm talking, or it could just be because I'm not going to make it through regardless. Alright, so now I'll just kind of use these guys. Spam, healing strike. and they won't really do much damage. That's the only problem with tank groups. You have to kind of decide what you're going for. If you're going to try to keep people out or if you're going to try to sustain damage over time. I have a couple tank groups in my castle and you didn't have too many either. So I think it's okay. I think just maybe some of your earlier groups could be tweaked a little bit. Um, what am I going to go for? I don't know what's behind. It looks like a Dr. Skull. Are they both on Enrage? 
Or is one, one of them, I think, is on heal. This could be dangerous. This is a pretty good boss room, though. I like it. That Zeke is just killing me. Did they, like, make the cooldowns longer on potions? Maybe not. I'm probably just being silly. Oh my god, that Zeke needs to die. Or I'm gonna die. Yeah, I like this boss room though, it's good. I don't know about the huge Enrage. I mean, I guess it's pretty good because Enrage is kinda buggy now, so if you want attack speed increase, that's like the best way of doing it. But if you could somehow find like two more points, which I don't know if you can, you could just have like two Zekes. Although one of them wouldn't be defended by a Defendatron, so I mean, it's pretty good. It made me use, I think, two potions for the boss room itself. So if you could just even add a little bit more sustained damage, I may have died in that boss room. Like, I have a full globe of health, so probably not. But, I mean, if someone plays a little less as a, less efficient as me or something like that, they may die. So yeah, pretty good castle overall. We'll jump into number three in just a second. Alright, and lastly we have castle level 18 for Tom Cialio. Cialio? Uh, yeah, we'll jump into it on my knight. Alright, so it looks like this is probably going to be set up for some sort of uh, delay tactics. I actually don't mind maybe pulling the next group as well. There's one Zeke in there, so I have to be a little bit careful because I don't know what's coming in this castle. Or else I would pull the whole thing. If I knew there was like only Defendatrons and Zekes, I might you know, decide to pull the whole thing. I'm spamming Kick here, for anyone who's wondering, because it's good against armored targets. It does extra damage like in an area of effect based on something it's armor. So against Defendatrons, it's really good to use. Alright, so I think your Cyclops was on 3 punch combo thing. Maybe he was on charge and he was just too close to me to start charging. That's something, either way, that's something that you should look at. Okay, he's on charge. So the other one needs to be changed up a little bit so that he actually charges. Meaning you probably can't have him come around the corner, you have to wait and move that aggro back. So like you had a Snotter aggroing from like right here to aggro this entire group or like right here. You could move that back a little bit down the hallway and then uh, you have the chance, you have like more of a possibility like if I aggro after I've already walked past this trap and I can't aggro it any other way, right? I can't, I can't go through walls anymore. So if you had that Snotter back over in here, I have to pass the trap, aggro this, try to pass back through the trap while a Cyclops is charging at me. So it's a pretty good chance that you'll hit with the Cyclo Cyclops. And then uh, you'll get your archer shots off a little bit easier. Alright, Jimbo. Chain stun Jimbo down. I like that Jimbo placement, it's pretty good though. It's not really a scary group, so I'm gonna pull two groups at once. So this, this first group that I pulled, I like looked at it and it didn't really look like it was much of a scary group, like there wasn't much DPS in it, there was 
a utility cyclops, one archer, and a defendatron, and then like a healer. So it was it wasn't really scary to me. So I decided to pull two groups. That's something that you can just look at because I mean, if someone can make that decision by looking through the wall and seeing, hey, this group isn't really scary. Let me pull two at once to save some time. That's not something you necessarily want. So, and if I could have, I would have pulled this one probably as well. Although that would have just gotten like less effective because I'm not an archer and I can't volley. So you may want to make that first group a little bit more damage in it. Something, maybe an elite, an elite, or you know, you could do a Scorpio so it has chance to pull through into the Pete Poundmore's group or anything like that. Could be better. And I've already said kind of how I why I don't like um I don't like char two charging Cyclops in other videos. I just don't think they have the damage, really. And they're only used for utility, so there's no point in having two of them, in my opinion. That was such a fail. Alright, I'll just engage. And there should be an archer shot coming. This is an interesting thing you have set up, though. I, I like it. This is a good group, I think. It doesn't really have a ton of damage, but it has enough annoyance that the damage will slowly add up over time. Although, for some reason, I thought that the um, Defendatrons were on the Archers. So how it is now, I still like it okay, but I mean, the Archers should be targeted first. I guess the Scorpio makes it pretty hard to like get up on the Archers and actually deal damage, but... Those pounding Scorpios are one of the more annoying things for knights to deal with. Alright. So yeah, not too bad of a castle overall. Um, I think there's a couple things that you can tweak with, like, that one Cyclops at the early part of your castle. And then also, you started off the castle with a couple tank groups, and you had a couple tank groups throughout. I think you really need to start to, like, think about picking a specific thing that you want to do. Do you want to kill people, or do you want to delay them? You really need to have, like, your overall castle, have a theme, and then have a couple different things. Like, I understand if you want a couple tank groups. If you if you want to do a slow castle, you don't want to have all tank groups. And if you want to do a killing, killing castle, it's not bad to have, like, a full sustained damage castle, but it needs to be something where if you take a ton of time pulling everything around corners and abusing corners that you'll still, that the chest will still be closed. So it needs to have enough tankiness to the, like, sustained damage monsters um, in order to still, like, pose a threat based on the timer, I guess. Um, but yeah, with that, that is number three, so we'll end the video here. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, I do, please subscribe. If you want to be a part of viewer casts, you can email me at Frenzy Castle Runs. You can comment on, a ca on my castle or comment on a video of mine. Give me your in-game name, and I will put you on the list. Um, so yeah, with that, we'll end the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.